Hello, dear students. Warm welcome to this video portal by Ravi Shankar. So I am going to teach you physics. So in our 12th standard, the first lesson I am going to teach you through this video portal. You just look at the board, right board. Whatever the thing that I am writing here will be displayed in the board and you can very well hear my voice and by seeing the board you take your notes and if you are not able to understand, note it down. We will clarify it while we are meeting in person. Okay? Clear? Thank you. Let us go to our video lessons. So, the first lesson the first unit that we are going to study is generally called to be electrostatics. When you are considering this topic called to be electrostatics, it is coming under a branch of physics called to be electromagnetism. See, when you are considering about electromagnetism this is a very important branch of physics which deals with both electric and magnetic fields or electric and magnetic forces here we are going to consider about electromagnetic forces so when you are considering about the electromagnetic forces except the gravitational force almost all the forces all other forces are called to be all other forces are considered to be electromagnetic in nature okay from that you can able to get this electromagnetic forces from that this electromagnetic forces arise from that you can able to get electromagnetic forces arise. Electromagnetic forces arise when atoms of the substances interact with each other. So electromagnetic forces arise due to the interaction of atoms. What do you mean by the interaction of atoms? Influence of one atom on an another atom that we are calling it out as interaction of atoms. When you are considering about the interaction of atoms, when interaction of atoms takes place, when the interaction of atoms takes place, when there is interaction between, when there is interaction between the objects or the interaction between the substances or the interaction between the materials. If there are or if there is interaction between two objects or two materials or two substances then atoms in that substances they interact with each other which give rise to what? Which give rise to electromagnetic forces. Under that electromagnetic forces okay and under that electromagnetic forces under that electromagnetic forces we are going to study about electrostatic forces we are going to study about electrostatic forces what do you mean by this electrostatic forces electrostatic forces means we are going to study about the behavior of electrical charges we are going to study about the behavior of electrical charges that behavior of electrical charges gives rise to the topic called to be electrostatics. It's a small introduction regarding the electrostatic. Just I am repeating it just to hear it out. Electrostatics. That is, it, uh, this topic comes under the branch of physics called to be electromagnetism, which is a most important topic in physics. When you are considering electromagnetism, it consists of both electric and magnetic fields. Here we are going to study about electromagnetic forces. When we are considering about the electromagnetic forces, almost all forces, 
except the gravitational forces are considered to be electromagnetic in nature. When you are considering that electromagnetic forces, from where that electromagnetic forces are arising? The electromagnetic forces are arising from the um, interaction between the atoms. The interaction between the atoms are coming due to the interaction between the two materials or substances or the two objects. So that interaction between the two substances or materials or objects gives rise to interaction between the two atoms which gives rise to electromagnetic forces. Under that topic electromagnetic forces we in our first topic going to study about the topic called to be electrostatic forces which deals with behavior of electrical charges. The behavior of electrical charges is considered to be electrostatic in nature. That electrostatic in nature, what do you mean by that topic electrostatics? Let us move on to the next part of this lesson called to be what do you mean by electrostatics?